Well, namaste there, and welcome to the Healthy Ho Workout Channel. I'm Monica Ho Ellers, and this is very gentle, stretchy type of yoga for after an intense workout. All right, so let's begin on our mats here, seated. So let's just let's put our hands on our um, knees here, and I'm in stereo, so I can hear it from my laptop. All right, so let your hands rest on your knees, and actually, don't push them down, but just let the gravity pull your hands towards your knees to open up your hips a tiny bit here. So try to get your knees, if you need to like pull the fleshy parts of your thighs, you can. All right, you can also kind of not stack your legs if you don't want to, like you can you see how mine are kind of just in front there and let them rest. And you may notice, like for instance, my left hip in the camera is a lot higher than my right hip is and that's just because it's a lot tighter. So notice those imbalances, all right? I'm going to roll the shoulders down the spine, you can close your eyes, squeeze your shoulder blades behind you, keep your eyes closed, letting your hands sink onto your knees, and I want to think about having a nice straight line between your tailbone, your spine, your neck, and the crown of your head, so you're being pulled up nice and tall, so separating the shoulders from the ears, another deep breath in, and exhale. So we're going to take our hands in front of us, inhale up, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale. Go ahead and take your left hand, put it down by the left, your left side. You're going to bend that elbow and reach across the ear. Okay, if you can get the bicep by the ear and then spin the rib cage towards the ceiling, bend that right elbow generously, opening it up, and again, see how my hip is lifting, bat, 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 bat. Um, you want it to try to drop open, so I'm going to actually extend my cross here, my cross-legged position, and let that hip just kind of melt towards the mat, it's not quite melting though, it's like being stubborn, okay, so again, inhale here, and exhale, find the tension, like for me, it's all down my back. Where is it for you? Find it there and then let it go when you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, then we're going to gently come out of it. Ooh. All right, and then in between, we're going to push our hands forward here. And now we're going to make a seat. So press your belly button towards the spine, the shoulders go forward. The spine kind of curves. Ooh, my armpits are a flexion. What is that all about? I feel like that man that has the mouse on the shoulder that runs across. I think mine got stuck in a trap. Okay, and then come up. All right, so we're gonna take another deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, this time you were gonna bend your right, put your right hand, left, your left hand on the mat. Raise your right arm, bend the left elbow, spin the rib cage towards the ceiling, and really try to see if your right knee is lifting off the floor, because if that's tight, then move it out a tiny bit. Just let it hang out, okay? Might not be the most comfortable position, not gonna lie. All right, but the idea is you've gotta find the tension, take an inhale, and then exhale, release. Feel the side body. Stretch a little. Maybe roll the shoulder blades down your spine because they might be up by your neck. Okay? And one more deep breath here. All right, bring it all the way up. All right, we are actually going to flip onto our backs here. We're going to go this way. All right, find whatever works for you. Lie on your side and then come on down to your back. We're going to lie on our backs first, and then we'll end up seated eventually. All right. So bend both knees. All right. Feet are flat on the mat. You're going to take your right knee, bring it towards your chest, scoop the tailbone up, elongate that leg. All right. Grab whatever you can, your ankle, pant leg, the back of your, the back of your thigh, whatever, whatever you can. Okay. You're going to flex this heel away from you. Okay, again, scooping the tailbone up, letting that thigh bone fall into the socket, right? 
and feel that stretch. So what you're not going to do is you don't want to pull on the leg, you actually want to push with the leg. Feel that difference when you push with that leg? Hello, Hammy. Hello, ham sandwich. Okay, why is it all about sandwiches today? All right, point the toes towards your forehead. All right. The other thing you're going to do now is if you want to, you're going to elongate the left leg and make that active. So flex that foot as well. No cramping. So if there's cramping, you've got to like rotate the foot. Okay, but you want this to be active. All right. So what we're going to do now is grab the outside of your right foot. Pull that right knee in towards your chest. Um, again, keeping that left leg active. Um, and... Uh, what are we doing? We're going to pull that armpit towards the, you're going to pull your armpit, no, you're going to pull your knee towards your armpit, opening it up. Now, if that, that doesn't feel good, that's, you know, bring it towards your chest then a little bit more. If you feel the stretch right here, cool. Don't even worry about it. But do try to keep your left glute on the mat and the left foot flexed. This is what I call melancholy baby, because it's only half of a happy baby. Okay. Yeah. Half smile baby, frowning baby. I think the actual word for it or the term is stir up pose. Uh, no thanks. Okay. All right. So now straighten that leg back up again. Go ahead and you can grab again. If you're feeling it, pull towards the um, calf or the ankle. Pull towards the back here, whatever. If you want to, you get your clucking fingers, because you know that's what these are called, or your peace fingers, and you're going to grab your big toe and pull it towards you. Hello. Okay, any of those will take. You can straighten your leg if you want to a little bit more. Um, Mama can't do that today. All right, again, left leg is active. All right, holding this leg, whichever position you're in with this leg, okay? You're now going to bend your left knee, put the left foot flat on the mat, turn the right ankle out, right here. Figure four is cool. You can keep it right here if you feel that stretch. You can thread the needle, take your right and left hands, pull. Okay, let, let that left thigh actually pull the hands. So push the left thigh into the hands and let that pull your shoulders down. Slide the shoulder blades down the back and onto the mat. Um, if you want to do another variation of this, you grab your right ankle with your left hand and then push the right thigh away from you. It feels like a chicken wing. Yeah, what's up with all the references today. All right, push. Wherever you are, just hang out there. Let's take two deep breaths. Exhale. And you exhale and release. So inhale, scan the body for stress. Exhale, bye bye Okay, now we're going to take our right knee over our left knee, if you want. This is what we call bow pose. You take the left ankle in the right hand and opposite, right ankle, left hand. Pull! Pull! Okay, pull. Oh my goodness. Wow, do we feel that? All right. It's like you're tying a shoelace. Sort of. That's how I look at a tie a shoelace. Okay. Oh, that. Okay, and then we're going to uncross the both feet down. We got to do the other side. So you are going to lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. Scoop that tailbone up. Point. The toes towards you and the heel towards the ceiling. All right. Put your hands either behind your thigh, your calf, whatever you can grab. But press that leg into the um, hands. Don't do the opposite. See what that feels like. See the difference, okay? And when you press, let the shoulders be pulled down. Slide the shoulder blades down your back. All right. And then you can gently elongate that right leg if you want to. Flex that right foot. It is active. Active. Okay. All right. So let's grab the outer side of the left foot with our left hand. You're going to bend that knee towards the armpit or the chest, keeping the right leg active. Okay. Uh, flex the foot on the right leg. And then either pull the left knee towards the armpit, shoulder, rib cage, knee, whatever feels good to you. But the idea is you're opening up the hip for frowning baby, melancholy baby. Okay. Okay. And let's take another breath. 
right here. Exhale. All right. Again, right leg is still active if you can. You're going to still flex that right foot. Go ahead and elongate that left leg again. Now this time you might be able to straighten a little bit more, but if you can't, don't worry about it. Back of the ankle, calf, hamstring, whatever you're grabbing, plucking fingers, peace fingers, toe, whatever works for you. All right, so let the, let the weight of your hand, if you're grabbing your toes, let the weight of your hand pull. So don't pull it, just let the gravity, let gravity do its job work. Okay, so again, flexing that right foot, it is active. One breath here, inhale, and exhale. All right, gently bend that, bend, bend that right foot, knee. <laughs> you know what I mean, you bend your leg, put your right foot on the mat, turn the left ankle onto the right thigh, hang out there if that's enough, cool. All right, if you want to, clasp the hands, thread the needle, behind the right leg. And again, you push that thigh into your abs. Don't pull, push the thigh. Let it pull your shoulders down, okay? Now if you want more, grab your left ankle with your right hand, push your left thigh away from you, okay? All just options. All right, let's take two breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. All right, people, we are going to come out of this. Put your foot, right foot down, left foot down, roll. We're going to go into all four, okay? And then we're going to dance into our downward dogs. We have to stretch our calves and our arms and everything. All right, so take your time getting up there. Fingers are spread, all right? And you're going to dance or walk. Okay, whatever is feeling good today. All right, so the hands are at a diagonal. They're never jamming with the wrists, okay? If you do feel wrist pressure, press the palms and the knuckles down into the mat. And we're walking the dog if you want. Okay, we can go right and left like this, so you can actually just turn, lift your heels up and turn. All sorts of patterns in this towel. All right, and then walk again. All right, and we're going to sit back into child's pose. You're going to pull the knees apart, feet together, sit back, arms forward, forehead to the mat. Again, more hip stretches, upper back. All right, inhale, expand the rib cage between the knees. Exhale, sink. One more, inhale. Exhale, sink. All right, come on up onto all four. We are gonna do a little stretch, Kate. This is for you or for anybody else that uh, does a lot of typing, texting, sitting at their desks, anybody actually, but kid, I had you in mind. Okay, so we're going to flip our hands gently, gently. Okay, so no, your hand might not flip all that way. It might be here. That's fine. Be really gentle on this. Okay, for anybody that has to grip anything, you know, suitcases, stuff like if you're a flight attendant, really, um, you have to help people put things up. Okay, that excessive gripping, or just if you're stressed out, you know, um, really can travel all the way up to your shoulder, can give you a headache. Okay, so we're sitting back, basically, I don't know if you can see me, but it looks like that. All right, okay. Next one, you're going to flip so that your palms are up. You can do this one at a time if you want, okay, if it's too much. Otherwise, you flip the palms up, the fingers are facing you, rock back and forth. Um, the further out you get your hands, the harder it is. It doesn't need to be super hard though, right? 
Try to get your shoulders away from the ears because it is super easy to be like, oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. Okay? All right, and as I always say, like if you're at your desk, put your elbow, the point of your elbow in your forearm like that. And you'll see like your hand goes, wah, wah, makes all these weird things. All right, so from here, all right, we're gonna roll our wrists in this way, go that way, and this way, and this, and this. We kind of did that already. Okay, so we are gonna try a pose called camel, not a full camel. So I think a full camel is when you're like all the way down. But we're gonna actually, this is one way to do it. You clasp your hands behind you, and then let, again, let the weight of your arms kind of pull you back. Squeeze the glutes, push, push, push the hips forward, okay? Gently, if you want to, you can come down to your hips. Where are my heels? I might not be able to come down to my heels. All right, and then open up to the sky, shoulders down. I know we're running out of time here, people. Do what you can. Again, this is totally fine. All right, but we're gonna expand our bellies. And exhale. Again, this is a heart opener. Inhale. Exhale. All right. And we're going to gently come out of it. So you just slowly come up, squeeze your glutes. All right, one more downward dog, people. All right, so take your time. Dance at the downward dog. into the most generous child's pose there is. Okay, so feet together, knees are really apart. Now, if they are coming off your mat, do it this way. Okay? It's almost like a frog pose. A frog pose would be this. Actually, we could do child's pose with a frog. The frog's super not fun, but it's a really good, um, it's a really good uh, pose for hips. So, right here, you're like in major hippie Child's pose. If you want to do frog's pose, disconnect your feet. Well, I mean, don't disconnect them from your body, but there's, don't touch them together. They're across, they're apart. You can probably see what I'm doing, right? My feet are out here. And you're basically using the weight of your body to open up your hips. Okay? Hips are super duper 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 important. Okay? Because if they're tight in the back, or it's going to travel up to the shoulders. Good. Again, you get headaches. All right. I'm going to sit back, up, that was tricky, all right, we're going to sit in cross-legged, so now he's out of time now, okay, we're out of time, all right, we're going to take a deep breath in, down in front of you, all right, with a soft bow, I thank you so much for coming to class today, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I want you to know that I'm very grateful to have all of you in my life to inspire me to help teaching, help, to help, to help me teach, to help me, to help me to continue teaching. I really, truly am grateful. You all, during this quarantine, have given me a reason to wake up in the morning and to um, continue to do what I love to do. So I hope you have a fantastic day, but really, I'm grateful for you today. And I look forward to the next class. Oh, oh when is that? Possibly next Wednesday, possibly next Saturday. All right, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.